Croesio i Gwasanaeth Heddiw, welcome to our assembly today. Dyma video i ddathlu dydd goel dewi, moyn haich. Here is a video for St David's Day. Enjoy. The story begins in a monastery where David was learning to be a monk. It was a very simple place made of wood with walls made of sticks plastered with mud. A roof of straw or rushes kept out the rain. Around the monastery were other simple buildings where the monks ate, studied and slept. In one of these buildings, young David sat and listened to the wise words of his tutor called Paulinus. Paulinus was a wise man, a good man, a holy man, but he was old and his sight was growing dim. He felt sad as he peered at the Bible. He could barely make out the letters. How could he teach his pupils if he could no longer see to read? As the days passed, Paulinus found it harder and harder to see anything at all. Everything was growing dim and dark for him. Now, even on the sunniest days, he had to feel his way along, using his hands to guide him. He would touch the walls to find his way around the buildings and to his seat in front of his class. David sat in front of the elderly monk, listening to him struggle to read the words in the great Bible in front of him. He felt so sorry for him. If only I could help him see clearly again, he thought. But what could he do? Then, early one morning, Paulinus woke and found that he could see nothing at all. He was entirely blind. How he wept. He fell to his knees by his bed and prayed, God, hear my prayer. Restore my sight so that I may continue to serve you and do your work. I have guided many young monks. I have tried my best to prepare them to do your work too. May they now help me. Let your Holy Spirit enter them so that the touch of their hands on my eyes will restore my sight. That morning, as the young monks filed into the room, Paulinus told them what had happened. How sad the monks were when they heard what he said. I pray that by touching my eyelids, one of you will be able to restore my sight, Paulinus said. So one by one, the monks came forward and gently laid their fingers on their beloved teacher's closed eyes. How eager they were to help restore their teacher's sight. How sad they were, and they saw that he still could not see. At last, it was David's turn. He had held back to the end, certain that he could not do what others could not. Shyly, he came forward. Paulinus could not see the young monk, but he knew that it was David who now stood before him. David, who prayed so hard for his sight to be restored. David, who touched his eyelids so gently. If anyone can heal my poor eyes, it is David, thought Paulinus. Gently, David took his hands away from his teacher's face, and slowly Paulinus opened his eyes. A joyful smile spread across his face. He could see how startled the monks were, how happy David was. Paulinus thanked God for sending him the young monk, David, but in a way, he felt sad too. He was sure that soon David would leave the monastery. What more could he, Paulinus, teach him? David must go out into the world and do God's work. And soon, David did indeed leave, and in time, he built his own monastery, the very one where St. David's Cathedral now stands. Do we more high mend your trife every tower, Ephraim? I enjoy going to the beach to run. Dwi'n mwynhau dansio i gadwyn haini, a'i enjoy dansin to keep fit. Dwi'n hoffi boeta hyfyniad jows i gorau yn y byd, 
I like to eat Joe's ice cream, it's the best in the world. Doing when high Dashlen Shavre, a horse doing a Malachio. I enjoy reading books because it relaxes me. Mmm. Doing hoffy boy to cow, a horse my glasses yawn. I like to eat cow because it's tasty. Doing dolly, very dig, a horse doing gathly, very dig and govlem. I love running because I can run fast. Doing dooly penguins, a horse mine gift. I love penguins because they're cute. Doing man high dringo penavan, doing min bob fly then. I enjoy climbing penavan, I go there every year. Doing my high gwilio filmy i Disney, a horse mine noon flower or hoil. I enjoy watching Disney films because it's lots of fun. Doing mine high mend and walk at a key George. I enjoy going for a walk with my dog George. Dwi'n mynhau chwarae, pelroed, achos, mae'n llawer o hoel. I enjoy playing netball because it's lots of fun. Dwi'n hoffi, coffi, costa, achos, mae'n flasus. I like costa coffi because it's tasty. Dwi'n mynhau cerdded o gompas yn allan gyda bela. I enjoy walking bela around the lake. The hoff peth y wynaid yn mynd am walk gyda amper mae ci. My favourite thing to do is to walk my dog amper. The hoff peth y wynaid yw mynd am walk gyda bella i ci. My favourite thing to do is walk bella my dog. Dwi'n doeli gwylio ffilm gyda teili. I love to watch a film with my family. The whole play of Disney World, Achos, Dwi'n Dully and Mickey and Minnie. My favourite place is Disney World because I love Mickey and Minnie. Dwi'n mwyn hai dathlen, Achos mwyn ddiddorol. I enjoy reading because it's interesting. Rydw i'n mwyn hai gwylio. I enjoy sewing. Dwi'n Dully, chwarae gemau. Achos, mae'n clawer o hoel. I love playing games because they are lots of fun. Do we mwyn hai cael cwtch gyda fi ci magi? I enjoy having a cwtch in my dog magi. Do we'n dully ar grandoi Chris Moyles yn y bore ar y radio achos mae e'n ddoniol. I love listening to Chris Moyles in the morning on the radio because he's funny. Do we mwyn hai mynd am wac yn y goedwig? Achos mae'n diddorol. I enjoy going for a walk in the woods because it's interesting. Dwi'n dolly chwarae music yn enweidig ar y gitar. I love playing music, especially on gitar. Mae byw yng Nghymru yn wych achos mae'n prydferth. Living in Wales is amazing because it's pretty. Dwi'n gwaith i o yn pont llew, dwi'n hoffi pont llew, achos mae'n gwych. I work in pont llew, I like pont llew, because it's great! Dwi'n dully ar y ddŵr, achos mae dŵr yn iachus. I love to drink water, because water is healthy. Dwi'n hoffi ar fed te, achos mae'n adfywiol. I like drinking tea, because it's refreshing. A long time ago, a great battle began between the men of Wales and the Saxon invaders. Swords clashed and the men fought for hours. The Welsh were losing. In battle, it was hard to tell a friend from an enemy, as both sides wore similar clothing. It was very confusing. A monk called David had an idea. He plucked a leaf from the ground and said to the soldiers, Wear these on your helmet, so that you will know any soldier who does not have a leak is your enemy. Some of the soldiers thought that this was an odd idea, but because the monk was one of God's men, they went along with it. Soon, every Welsh soldier wore a leak on his helmet, and before long, the Welsh defeated the invaders and won the battle. The leak is a national symbol of Wales. On March 1st, Welsh people all over the world proudly wear a leak in memory of St David.
Dewi Sant. A story of a Dewi Sant with a cali enid and blue thin pim cant are glogin and sir benvro. Rodi noson stormes yawn. Fel bound for an anno the yawn you vam non. Besach my couple non you well done no on bach yawn see the roll. And hivid my fenon sanctai see me thry bobble and gwella pobble tossed. Dat Dewi Sant and Brigethur en wog. A hefyd fwy naeth e'r sefydlu nifer fawr o glwysi. Un oedd gwrs yw ti ddewi Sir Benfro, ond hefyd dros man yng Nghymru, Lloegr a Llydaw, un yn lle enwog yw Glastonbury. Yn eglwys gadeiriol ti ddewi, mae cerrig pwysig iawn. Daeth ddewi yn ôl gydag o, o Jerusalem, bi oedd yno fan honno yn berdyndod. Bywyd syml o ddewi ar mynachod eraill yn byw, Troi'r tîr gyda llaw, dim hyfyd cwrw, na bwyta cig, dŵr yn unig oedd y tori sached. Stori ddiddorol o ddewi i fod i wedi imprigethu bobl yn llan ddewi brefi. Pobl yn eu cefyn yn cwyno nad oedd nhw'n ffili clywed. Digwyddodd gwyrdd. Cododd y ddaiar o dano, fel glaniodd y colomen wen ar ei ysgwydd. Bi farw dewi ar fawr cyntaf yn flwyddyn, pum cant, wyf deg, naw, a chafodd ei gladdu yn hi ddewi, lle mae'r eglwys gadeiriol. Yr oedd wedi bod yn teithio dipyn o'r ardal honno yn ystod ei amser yn pregethu. Rhai o'r pethedwedodd oedd, byddwch yn llawen, cadwch y ffydd, gwnewch y pethau bachan, a mae'r diwediad, gwnewch y pethau bachan yn enwog. Bore da, boys and girls. I'm going to read you a story about Sally Mally. Kaken Sally Mally. Mind their nod, Pembloy Sally Mally Hedo. Ride if you were naid Kaken. Dama Bolen, Dama Floy, Abby Thangen. Slyth, Blowed. A oiau. Ble mae'r llaith? Dyna rifedd. Dim llaith. Ble'r mae blawd? Dyna od. Dim blawd. Ble'r mae oiau? Beth? Dim oiau chwaith. O, dyna siom. Rhaid i mi fynd i'r siop i brynu llaith a blawd a oiau. Gnoc, gnoc. Helo, Sally Mally. Doedd dim rhaid i ti wneud dim heddiw? Dyma gacen ben bloedd i ti. Pawb i gani? Pemblwydd hapu sut i, Pemblwydd hapu sut i, Pemblwydd hapu sali mali, Pemblwydd hapu sut i. O dyma hafred, o diolch bawb. This is a story about the physicians of Motherboy. The Red Book of Hargist is one of the most ancient Welsh manuscripts in existence. It dates from the 14th century. It is now kept in the Bodleian Library in Oxford, and part of the Red Vellum book is a collection of herbal remedies from the physicians of Motherboy. These physicians or healers lived in the Carmarthenshire village of Motherboy, beginning in the 12th century. Their herbal remedies were made from natural products, and they included cures for such things as headache, sunburn, swellings and pain in the legs, even coughs and sneezes. In folklore, these healers are linked to the legend of the Lady of the Lake, called Llinavan Fach. According to this story, a local farmer saw a beautiful woman sitting on a rock in the lake. After three attempts to woo her, he was at last successful but she agreed to marry him only if he promised to treat her well. She said that he must never strike her three causeless blows, otherwise she would return to the lake. 
Vowing never to do such a thing, the farmer took her as his wife and the family moved to the village of Motherway, where they had three sons. According to the legend, the three blows were struck. Although they were just taps on the back or arm, they were enough to cause the lady to immediately return to the lake. She took with her all the farm animals and left the farmer heartbroken. As the three sons grew up, they turned their knowledge inherited from their mother's fairy lore to the healing arts. They became healers or physicians, using herbs found in the Mudvay area. A long line of famous physicians was created, which lasted for many centuries. Damastori or enu kuch mangi. Right through an half year no aros kada mangi. Bontro right through beth dithora na yan teresunaid. But then to call pizza no swiner. Mindi huwa in a park. Na mindam draw ya jachan baskod pa kana gamlas. Na i pen balia i dona koidwig. Os adim buru glau. I vashle but then to pobi pekera man. Wait ya. But then to call do ini da. I mam hadad. Roedd yn tynnu hoff am mynd i'r sinema hefyd, a naistydd yn y tywyllwch gyda popcorn a diod. Daeth hwn i gyd i ben am mis mawrth a nwy fil ag higain gan fod pawb adre dan glo oherwydd Covid. Ni bydd rhagor o sleepovers gyda gan mam gi am fisoedd. Roedd mam gi yn gweld eisiau rhoi cwts i'r ian, felly penderfynodd greu cwts i anfon drwy'r post. Cymerodd hen grys ti a llywysau hir. A'i dori o dan y llywysau. Gwyniodd gwaelod y llywysau a'i llenwi gyda stuffin o hen glistog. Gwnaeth dwy law wedi torri o garfwrdd a'i glido i waelod y llywysau. Rhoedd y cwts mewn parsel a'i anfon yn y post. Pan agorodd rhy yn y parsel, fe naidiodd breichiad cwts allan Fel octopus. Rhoedd oedd rhy yn y cwts dros ei hysgwyddau. Diolch, mam gi. Cari ti. A dyma lun o cwts mam gi. Diolch yn bawr. Hi! Um, I'm Keris, I'm Lyra Dixie's mum who's in reception and I'm going to read you a little Welsh story. Um, it's called Geiriai Croes Elvid, Elvid's Opposites. Ma Elvid and Vaur, ma Aderin and Vach. Elvid is big, bird is small. Ma Tiger an gavlin, ma cruban an araf. Tiger is fast, tortoise is slow. Ma llew an efro, ma canawan an gysgu. Lion is awake, the, t- the cubs are asleep. Ma giraffe an dal, ma drynog an vir. Giraffe is tall, hedgehog is short. Mar hail and boith, the sun is hot. Mar iron oir, the snow is cold. Mar inarth and hapis, mar llall and drist. One bear is happy, the other is sad. Dyma funky, sin sibrod. Dyma llagodin. Sin gweddi, gweddi, a monkey that whispers, a mouse that shouts. Ma un gwningen yn dew, ma llall yn denau. One rabbit is fat, the other one is thin. Ma di yn ddi, ma gwyn yn wyn, ma eifion yn ddi a gwyn. Black is black. White is white. Avion is both. Thanks for listening. Bye.